All right, Shalom. I want to give all the praise, all the glory, all the honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors goes out to the other apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me the truth. Also, I want to acknowledge the Akya who are pushing the truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. <clears throat> All right. I was just, uh, I don't know, I was nothing planned here, but I saw this video earlier, and through the spirit, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do a lesson on it. Basically, it's dealing with these women and the, hot, the state, the state of mind that they're in right now, and, you know, the women's, um, I don't know what the word I want to use, but women's bravado, women's, uh, <laughs> women ain't even supposed to have bravado, man, but the women's confidence, the woman's um, pride, haughtiness is at an all-time high, right? And I'm just going to show you a, show you an example um, because, you know, we're under the curses, so we're actually, all the men of Israel are under these curses dealing with our women, you know, being our enemy, right? So let me, give me one second. So, yeah, I mean, we're under the curses. You know, the men, the nation of Israel under the curses. But part of our curse is, is dealing with these these wicked women who don't respect us, you know. And especially when you're, uh, you know, you, you get involved with a woman, you start living with a woman. Women are weak vessels. And they uh, they don't know how to handle themselves, you know, when they, they, they're very opportunistic um, by nature. All right. I'm going to go ahead and play this video, though, and then I'll pull out some scriptures. Alex Pajeda was questioned about his recent breakup last night. He said... And really, look really quick, Alex Pajeda, he's a, he's a badass. Actually, he's a fighter, right? He's a, in the UFC. He's um, basically... He's a superstar right now because he's... He's won the championships in the multiple weight classes. He could be, um, by the end of the year, the first in the history of the UFC to uh, to be a champion in three different weight classes. Nobody's done that. This dude that we're doing this lesson on, he has the chance to do that. But, you know, that's not the point of the, of the lesson. The lesson is, is to go in and even with him being who, you know, he's so-called noble celebrity. As high status, um, but yet he still deals with the same curses as, as you know even the peons or all the all the Israelites. You know, you got the the noble, you know, so that so called celebrities. There, the curses are not uh, you know limited to just the uh, the lower class or the middle class, but also the our curses extends to the um, you know to the nobles to the celebrities. But this is dude right here in the picture. You, if you could see him, and this dude is from the—I uh, believe he's of the tribe of Asher, right? He's a so-called uh, Brazilian. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and let the let the video play because it's about his breakup with his woman, right? And <laughs> just shows you how bad these women are, man. And like, the, and and when you when I look at this stuff, how immature these women are, man. And remember, like Elder Apostle Gabar always says, hey, it's prophecy. These women. They're they're set up to be our enemy in this in uh, you know in this uh, in this wicked kingdom. But anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna play the video. Well, hard to talk about this because for me, I deleted this person from my life. I would also like to ask my fans to also delete her from your life. It was a person I believed. I put her in my house together with my family. After all, I found out that she was married. Paid his ex girlfriend. For See this this bitch was married. He didn't even know she was married. That's how scandalous these women are, man. So this dude, that's why you got to be careful with these women, man. And really, you know, if you have a woman, you know, stay with her. But if you don't have a woman, you really don't need to seek, a, a, you know, a wife, right? But anyway, let me keep going. 
fired back. She posted this. She wrote, LOL, her and man are really trying to invent whatever. Obviously, I was married in the past. Alex was too. But I got separated before I started a relationship with Alex. You guys are so stupid to think that I could move to the States having a husband. I broke up with Alex, by the way. And if I would start to speak about the reasons here, it wouldn't end good, guys. Peace out. See, I mean, this is a foolish ass woman just by listening to her message, you know, that she posted on whatever platform it was. First, she says, hurt man, LOL. I mean, come on. You, you, that, whether he's hurt or not, like, that shows you the immaturity and the foolishness of this bitch, you know? And then for her to, let me, let me rewind. Alex then posted a series of. Hey, his ex girlfriend fired back. She posted this. <laughs> All right, his ex-girlfriend fired back, they say, right? Let's see. It says, obviously, I was married in the past. Alex was too, so she tries to deflect it on him, right? But I got separated before I started a relationship with Alex. So she admits right there that she was still married. She was only separated from her husband. So, you know, shows you the character of this bitch. <coughs> it says, you guys are so stupid to think I could move on to the states having a husband because she's probably lives in brazil also but anyway the thing is is she she acts like it's all a joke you know lol lol like, like shit's funny and this shows you these bitches don't care about you man <laughs> these women don't care about you they can lol their ass off on these messages and you know she's putting an embarrassment on this this guy you know and this is why sometimes hey it's good not to be a a celebrity, you know, because in this on this side of Esau's kingdom, because look what happens. You get exposed on this social media nowadays. And I mean, I'm sure the dude's not, you know, it's not a good situation for the for the brother, you know, and it says I broke up with Alex, by the way. OK, so what the fuck does that matter? You know, why does she put that out? Because it was a bitch's pride. You know, these women are prideful and it says and if I would start to speak about the reasons here, it would not end good, guys. Peace out. Like, she, bitch, peace out my ass. Fuck you, you know? This bitch is a bitch right here. Just reading this message shows you how scandalous this bitch is. Right? And we know these women are going to be humbled, man. These women are going to be humbled, and it's going to come sooner than they think, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and grab some scriptures. Just a few scriptures that came to mind. <clears throat> um... First one I want to grab is because uh, I mean if you listen to his uh, message, all he was saying was he wants want to keep it private. He don't want to, you know, put it all out there. And then this chick come in here, lol, and da da da. Man, this brother's better off with that bitch without that bitch. And these, you know, the Lord uses these women to torment us. You know, let's see Proverbs. This 30 and 20 is what I want to start out with. It says, Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness. And you could tell that there was this bitch's attitude. You know, she, she ain't feeling guilty or re regretting or having remorse spirit, you know? No, she's, she's uh, she, in her mind, she hasn't done no wickedness. She's ready to move on to the next. And if I'd have kept playing the video, it tells he he posted uh, their text messages, which that's all that's stupid to do, right? You know. But anyway, in the text messages he posts was his proof of her um, um, having a uh, like basically texting romantically two other men at the same time. So just showing you how scandalous these women are now. You see, let me get, um, <clears throat> let me see.
All right, so this is this is uh, Jeremiah three and one. Just grabbing verses as they come to my mind. Jeremiah three and one. It says, they say, if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man's, shall he return unto her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers, yet return again to me, saith Yahweh. Right? So he's in this, in Jeremiah 3, he's comparing the nation of Israel to an unfaithful and adulterous woman. Because <laughs> Israel, you guys are spiritual whores. You know, you, you Israelites, you're not true. You're not serving or worshiping the true power. Yahweh, Basham, Yahashai. All right. Instead, you're over here, you know, in all kind of madness. But the same thing goes for the woman. It says if a man puts away his wife, meaning if he has a divorce with a woman and she go from him and become another man's. And when she comes back, she says how that land be greatly polluted. She's defiled. This woman is defiled. All right. But guess what she thinks in her mind? We just read it. She thinks she hasn't done no wickedness. And in Babylon, America, the, the women, they don't, they don't have, there's no accountability for a woman. You know, women are um, enabled and uh, pretty much encouraged to become whores and, and commit iniquity and, and commit adultery. Because think about it. When a woman, nine times out of ten, when a woman divorces her husband, and by the way, the women... Uh, are the uh, by the their their higher percentage marriages that ends in divorce are are uh, you know uh, in, initiated by women, you know I think it's like a really high amount like seventy percent of the time there's a divorce, uh, you know seven out of ten times the woman is the one initiating the divorce, and it goes back to this wicked ass place we live in where this place is out of order, right? And there's a lot of um, factors. That goes into this. You got, um, you know, the social media, which has these women's head blown up at an all-time high. False pride, false confidence. You know, and women are not set up to be with multiple men the way a man is. All right. <clears throat> but let me see. Let me, what was I going to grab? Let me grab the, the curse real quick in Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy twenty-eight. Let me see if I can find it. <clears throat> <clears throat> Just to show you, that these are the curses. <clears throat> like I said, they're not limited. Here it is right here is what I'm looking for. Deuteronomy 28 and 30, it says, Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. You see? That's the point of that verse, Deuteronomy 28 30. You're going to have a wife, but guess what? Because we're under the curses, other men are going to lie with your wife, man. Other than when other men are gonna lie with your woman, and that's obviously what's happening in in this story I'm I'm reading, you know, you know, or I'm not reading the video I showed you with Alex Pereira, who, like I said, he's a he's a celebrity, he's a uh, he's a UFC two time champion, two weight division champ, possibly this year he might be a third weight division champ, and nobody's ever done that, but with all that, you know, um, false glory that he has on this side. He's still dealing with the curses, you see. I mean, he he said it's he even said he was more humble in his response on that video. He was like, "Hey, it's not something I want to talk about. This is a hurtful thing." Da 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 da. Being you know, not so much pouring his guts out, but you know, being an honest uh, you know man with he probably had good intentions, you know. And then you got the woman acting like it was no no big deal, nothing nothing special. And, pretty much threatening to expose him right at the end how she said if i told you the truth you know he it wouldn't end well for him you know bitches you know they're at an all-time high man and, and that's the other verse i'm gonna grab real quick <clears throat> a woman shall come past a man right let's grab that real quick jeremiah 31 this is prophecy right this is because Back in the ancient time, there was order, right? We had order. Yahweh Bashem Yashai has order. In the kingdom, we're going to have order. You're going to have the, the order is going to go Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, the husband, and then the woman, the man, and then the woman. It's not going to be out of order like it is here in Babylon. 
and again, you don't understand. All these nations are, are um, you know, they're, they're drinking from the Babylonian juice, juice, meaning they're influenced by Babylon's wicked morals and wicked, uh, you know, this wicked society. So it extends to all the nations. That's why in the scriptures it talks about um, Babylon has weakened the nations. <clears throat> but let's get Jeremiah 31 and 22. It says, How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For Yahweh hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. All right? <clears throat> so that's why, these, <clears throat> that's why these women are so bold. Because this is the prophecy being fulfilled. These women have come past the men. How many times you you, you uh, deal with a couple and the, the man will tell you some stupid shit like, oh, you know, she's the boss or happy wife, happy life, you know, which that's all bullshit. That's because these men have been in Babylon, especially they've been dumbed down. They've been weakened. They've been softened up. And they have these little uh, weak ass mentalities. Let's get the order real quick. First Corinthians one eleven and th let's see, I'm sorry. First Corinthians eleven and three. <laughs> it says, But I would have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Hamashiach is the most high. You see, so there's an order to this. And the man is the head of the woman. All right? It's like we just read. But these women are, they're no, they don't believe the scriptures. Matter of fact, you tell, you know, there's a few women out there that that will um, obey this uh, this uh, verse right here in three and follow the order, follow their husband's lead. But the majority of these women are not in this mindset. And they, they're, you know, they, they look at it as a weak Mindset for a woman, which women, y'all are supposed to be vulnerable. You're supposed to be delicate, not talking all kinds of shit like that. Like that bitch was talking to the dude on the UFC fighter, right, Alex Pereira. So let's uh, let me get this real quick. Um, we brought another one into notice. Right, Deuteronomy is another, it's also in Deuteronomy, the curses, right? Deuteronomy 28, <clears throat> and it says 56, <clears throat> or maybe it's 54, let me see. Okay, this is a good verse, this is what, I'm going to read, uh, I'm going to read two of these verses here. Let me see. Because women are supposed to be tender, right, and delicate. They're not supposed to be uh, manly, talking shit to their husbands, disrespecting them on social media, you know. Lying. The bitch was even married, you know. And she, she knows that's true. That's why she responded the way she did because she knows what he was saying was true. She tried to act like she wasn't married. She said separated. But bitch, if you're still married, you're still married. Separated means you're not. And really, you know, when it comes to this truth, you're really never uh, divorced from your husband unless he unless he passes on, unless he dies, right? Unless he passes away. So these women, they, they think they can just do whatever the hell they want. And that's why it says a woman shall come past a man. Um, <clears throat> let's start at, let's see. All right, let's go to Deuteronomy 28, 56. It says, the tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil toward her, the husband of her bosom, and the toward her son and toward her daughter. You see, so even against her kids, these women are out of line, and you see that. You know, you have more and more in this in this day and age. 
more women are uh, you know giving up their kids and men are you know the roles are almost switching because the way this place is set up it's so it's so backwards you know <clears throat> you got men in all soft in their emotions thinking that oh I gotta play the woman's role and I got you know what I mean they, they're basically doing both the woman and the man's roles and I know there's out there some single women right but I'm, well, the point I'm making is uh, you know more and more the it's the roles are kind of switching and I've seen a lot in this society where men are stable and taking care of the kids while the woman ended up getting turned out by either drugs or, or you know other men or whatever demons they can't fight off them remember the woman's a weaker vessel the scriptures tell us that so let me read this Deuteronomy 28 and 56 so she's supposed to be so tender that her you wouldn't even allow her foot to touch the ground but these th does that bitch sound tender the one that was uh, you know sent that you know fucked up message to Alex Pereira the fighter no she was talking all kind of shit and he really, if you go back and watch the video, he really didn't say all that bad about her. And even if he did, if she was in line, and that's the thing about social media. Really, you keep your business off social media, you know. This is something you learn from, as that dude should learn from. Like, hey, you don't want to be putting all your all your uh, dirty laundry outside, you know. But let's read this. The, the tender and delicate woman among you which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil toward her husband, toward the husband of her bosom, and toward her son, and toward her daughter, and toward her young one that cometh out of the between her feet, and toward her children which she shall bear, for she shall eat them for want of all things, secretly in the siege and straightness. Okay. And, you know, I went too far. But anyway, you get the point. But the, another thing I want to focus on, it says, Her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom. And the word evil breaks down to bad times. So that's what these women do. They're, they're giving their husbands bad times in, the, in this day and age. And, you know, these bitches, the mentality of these bitches now is because of Esau, you, you, you can always go back to Esau when you see wickedness. You can always blame it on Esau because he's the one who got our women thinking like this. Right, it goes back to Genesis, I think it's Genesis 3, let's see. Right here. Genesis 3 and 4, it says, well, let me let me read 3. It says, but the fruit, and this is basically when Yahweh had given them the rules, saying, hey, you can't eat of this, this particular tree. And when we go into this lesson, you know, I'm not going to get too crazy in this, but... The trees represent men, all right? There's parables and different verses in the Bible that explains the trees represent men. But that's what this is talking about. It's a parable. It says, verse 3, but Genesis 3, 3, but of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, the most I have said, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. And also the serpent is a metaphor of, for the so-called white man, because in Ecclesiastes 3.18, it tells you that the beasts are men, all right? So the serpent is actually a, a, a beast, which is a parable of which he represents a man, which in this case, in verse 4, the serpent represents Esau, Edom, all right? Because, you know, Esau is a wicked, crafty, subtle spirit on the earth, the, the wicked and that's the characteristic of a serpent. It's it's actually clever and subtle, right, and crafty. Those are uh, characteristics that an actual serpent or a snake would have. Um, but that serpent is the so-called white man telling the woman lies, just like he does now. He tells her, hey, you could go ahead and be just like the man. You can go have multiple, uh, you know, sex partners, multiple men. You're just like the man. You you know you have the exact same equality as the man, which that's not true. We just read that there's order in the in the truth. All right, and I'm gonna bring out that verse that talks about the woman being the weaker vessel. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. <clears throat> um. 
But let me keep reading this. The serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for the Most High doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took the fruit thereof she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her and he did eat all right so you know the rest of the story right this is where uh, you know um in in the fake christianity they like to say that eve took a, a bite of the apple but in, if you read the scripture it never said specifically an apple it just says the fruit thereof right so that even shows you how you know how uh, crafty and, and how many lies are in this pagan Christian church because it don't even say apple. But anyway, that ain't the point. The point is, is this woman, she, she listened to that serpent and, and went out and ate that tree, which that tree also dealing with men. Those are parables for men, trees. So, you know, showing you that, hey, this white man was the wicked influence on our women, right? And still is to this day. That's why they act the way they act. That's why that bitch was acting the way she was to that UFC champion. You know, disrespectful, acting like... And she probably really don't. Acting like she don't give a fuck about him at all. Right? And that's how these women are. They, you know, they... Because they got, they got uh, Tom, Joe, and Larry all up on their social media. And, you know, in some cases, they got the whole damn... Uh, they got a whole roster, Right? You see these bitches, all the likes they get on social media, building up their head, making them feel like if something doesn't work out, they got all kind of backup plans, plan A, B, C. They got way more. Some of these women got way more from A to Z. They oh, they got a, a Rolodex that A to Z, A to Z, A to Z, A to Z, multiple times, you see? And this is the state of these women right now, all right? And because... Because they are the weaker vessel by nature, that's why they become destroyed when they sit here and jump from rod to rod to rod to rod. Then, when then when you see a woman like that, a promiscuous woman who's who's fucking everybody, those are the most unstable bitches you're ever gonna meet. And that's why that bitch um, that left the message on the on the video there, uh, you know, she you could tell her character. She's um, immature. Put an LOL, acting like she doesn't give a fuck, which maybe she doesn't, you know, because these women are so reckless. But, um, you know, and then threatening that she's going to, you know, if she told the truth that he, you know, it wouldn't be good for him, you know, all this and that. When you go go back and watch the video, he, he was way more humble than she was, right? But that's the state of these women, man. And right now... She's probably thinks no what nothing of it. She's over getting popped by multiple other men because that's at the end of the day that's what she wanted, right? She was probably just with that dude for a little bit of clout, clout chasing because he was the UFC champ. You, you know, had they had a little fling for a while while it was good while it lasted, right? Then she turned her her hoish ways came back to her, right? So let's grab uh, First Peter. First Peter. 3 and 7. Likewise, ye husbands dwell. It's talking about women, right? This is, Likewise, ye husbands dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, <coughs> that your prayers be not hindered. So yeah, we, you know, we when you're, when you have, uh, when you dwell with these women according to knowledge, there's nothing wrong if you have a righteous wife who's who's serving you to give her honor. But uh, you can't, like they say, you know, in the world, you can't make a hoe a housewife. And that bitch is a hoe. So look at as unto the weaker vessel. The, the Lord, Yahweh says through Peter here that the women are the weaker vessel. So we, we, we believe that. We know that they're the weaker vessel. That's why instead of keeping her composure she and be classy, you know, the classiest thing that woman could have done is not even respond to anything on the social network, right? But because she's foolish, no, had, lacks wisdom, she goes on there making herself uh, advertising her ignorance, you see? So, um, but, you know, they're the weaker vessel, you see? 
So these women, they can try to play like they're strong and this and that, and they don't, they're, they're not worried about nothing. And but guess what? Those days are 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 fucking limited. Those days are almost over. These women are gonna get humbled, right? Let's get a. Uh, Isaiah 32 and 9. Isaiah 32 and 9. <clears throat> Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. See, Yahweh was saying through Isaiah, hey, rise up. Better listen up. You careless daughters. Because that bitch, she's careless right now. She's over here with the dude, Alex Pereira, the UFC champion. While she's with him, she's texting two other men and how many more, you know, probably even more, you know, while she's, you know, dwelling with him. That's carelessness, right? You know, however it starts, the social media is always the trigger, always the temptation for these bitches. They get mad at their husband, they get in an argument. Next thing you know, they're going to go check their DMs and how many, uh, you know, Joe, Kurt, and Larry all up in their DMs, right? Um... Verse 10, many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease, be troubled, ye careless ones, strip you and make you bare, and gird sackcloth upon your loins. They shall lament for the teats and the pleasant fields for the fruitful vine, right? <clears throat> So Yahweh's warning them, and then we're, I'm warning them on this video, on this lesson. You tremble, ye women that are at ease, be troubled. <coughs> it says, "For the vintage shall fail." The vintage means the old ways. It's not right now. It's going to be the old ways, right? They're going to in the, here in the near future. These women, you know, they're they're going to be in such a low state during Jacob's trouble, during martial law. I mean, you're going to have women getting gang raped. You're going to have women getting tossed to the curb. You're going to have women getting beat down you're gonna have women getting their husbands murdered and then you're gonna have some u.n soldier or even some wicked ass two-third or heathen um you know raping them this is the stuff that's coming to babylon america and that's why yahweh he's letting these women he's just like pharaoh he's let building these women up in their spirit building up their uh their false pride their haughtiness and only to bring them down and he when he brings them down it's going to come down hard on these bitches Straight up. They ain't going to know what hit them, right? They show you that in some of these movies, like uh, Book of Eli. That woman that was begging to go with Eli, right? Denzel Washington. She was begging to go with him. He was like, nah, bitch, you'll slow me down. And he's right. In those times, women are going to be slowing you down. They're gonna, You're going to be a target if you have a woman during Jacob's trouble. You don't understand. It's going to be like the wild, wild west times, times uh, 5,000, right? Because if you have a woman, and especially if she's a beautiful woman, attractive, nice figure, nice body, big ass, firm titties, pretty nipples, that's going to be basically, that'd be like uh, you walking with, a, 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 you know, a million dollars cash uh, through the hood, right? That's what that's going to be like. You'll be a target, all right? Um, let me see what other, let me grab some other verses here. Well, you know, I wanted to grab Isaiah 3 because it goes into the humbling that these women are going to deal with. I'll go to Isaiah 3 and 25. Actually, I'll start at 24. It says, and it shall, this is talking about when it gets really bad for these bitches out here in these streets, right? These women right now, there, there's a, there's a, you know, a term like that that says that, you know, she for the streets, Right? These women are that are acting hoes like that. That's what you say. That bitch is for the streets. She ain't, she can't be in in the home. She can't be. She can't stay at home and build a happy home. That bitch is for the streets, right? This is Isaiah three and twenty four, and it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell there shall be stink, and instead of a girdle a rent, and instead of well set hair baldness, and instead of a stomacher a girding of sackcloth and a burning instead of beauty. And that burning is, you know, that's talking about their private parts. Burning, because why? Because of their hoeish ways, their whole tendencies, right? The sweet smell, there should be stink. When a woman has multiple sperms in her, guess what? That that box can start smelling like shit, all right? 
uh, the well set hair instead of well set hair baldness. That's a curse that's on uh, you know predominantly the southern kingdom, the so called black tribes. Right, but let's keep reading. Twenty five. Thy men shall fall by the sword, and thy mighty in the war. So your husbands are going to die by the missiles or by the sword, which the sword is Esau Edom. So even even his uh, his uh, you know machinations, his jump shot, that's going to kill off a lot of men. You know, civil war. There's going to be death in in that. There's going to be casualties in the civil war in Babylon. And the mighty in the war. I mean, yeah, those are the those are the soldiers. The, those that will die in Armageddon, which will be that um, that war in the Middle East, right? The mountain of troops in the Middle East. Verse twenty six, talking about the women, and her gates shall lament and mourn, and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. So she's going to be sitting there just like that bitch in that book of Eli. She was tied up to a, um, a grocery cart or handcuffed to a grocery cart, and she was sitting there desolate. Just sitting there mourning, feel, crying, feeling sad, feeling desperate, feeling helpless, hopeless. This is the future of these women, man. That's why in Isaiah said in Isaiah 32 and 9, Rise up, you women that are at ease, right? Let's get uh, a few verses out of, um, <clears throat> I can remember, Ecclesiastes 26. Get the, I gotta get the right one though. There's a few in this one. <laughs> All right here's one. Ecclesiastes 26 and 7. An evil wife is a yoke shaken to and fro, and he that hold of her, he that hath a hold of her, is as though he held a scorpion. You see? So that's how that dude is. And we've all been here. We've had these evil wives. But when you're dealing with an evil wife, and if you love her, man, that's tough, man. That's a tough situation. You fucking you'd be better off holding a scorpion. And if you Google an image of a scorpion, man, those things are ferocious and they're, they're, they're not pleasant to look at. As a matter of fact, if you had a scorpion on your dinner table, you would freak the F out, you see? Verse 8, a drunken woman and a gatter abroad causeth great anger and she will not cover her own shame. See, and that's that like that girl that was leaving that message out to the UFC fighter. She wasn't covering her own shame. Like I said earlier, she's advertising her foolishness. LOL. Oh, you know, I broke up with him. Like, bitch, what are you, like, that's how much pride you got? You got to make sure people know you were the one who ended the relationship? That's some childish shit right there, you know? And that bitch deserves whatever wicked and evil comes to her. <clears throat> um, yeah, and a gather abroad, that means a woman who can't stay at home. She's always got to be on, on the, so she's a social butterfly, as they say, right? She's got to be out in the club. She's got to be out in the street. Before she goes to the grocery store, she's got to get herself all sexified. You know? You have women like that. If, they, if they're in that spirit, well, they want to get put on their yoga pants, do their hair. They won't go outside with, unless their makeup is on. Women like that, man, you can guarantee that bitch is a, a thought. All right? All right, let's see. Verse 9, the whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and her eyelids. Yeah, you know when them bitches are hoes. They'll be making eye contact with every man, right? Even if they have a husband. And you know that woman, she was one of those women. The one that was, you know, the, the basis of this lesson. Um, watch. Watch over an impudent, 2611 Ecclesiasticus. Watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee. So the thing about this is, oh, oh boy, Alex Pereira, he probably knew that this, he probably, there was probably plenty of red flags that he ignored and he started to notice more frequently that, hey, this bitch, she's got an impudent eye and she's doing some scandalous shit. He probably knew she was wicked, you know, but some sometimes the box keeps you, you know, making the wrong decision. But it says, and marvel not if she trespass against thee. So that means don't be surprised when this bitch is uh, DM, DMing other men and all this other stuff, right? Because she she's she's basically, don't marvel. That's who she is. Don't be surprised is what it's saying. Verse 12, she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he hath found a fountain and drink of every water near her for every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. You see, this is telling you she's opening her mouth and they tell them, let me tell you this. It's not talking about her mouth, a thirsty traveler. When a woman's thirsty, 
That's not and her mouth is not the only thing she opens. All right. It says, and drink of every water near her. Meaning she's gonna get rod to rod to rod to rod. And then you remember where we started the lesson with, she's gonna wipe her mouth and say, I haven't done no wickedness. I'm not a, I'm not a bad woman. God's dealing with me. <laughs> you know, that's how these bitches be acting. Let's see. By every hedge will she sit down. Meaning it don't matter where she goes, she's going to be a hoe. And then it says, and open her quiver against every arrow. And a quiver is a pouch where, um, you know, like the Native Americans, when they had bow and arrows, the quiver is where they would store the arrows. So if you can understand that quiver is not talking about no quiver. It's talking about that woman's private parts. And what's she going to do? She's going to open her quiver against every arrow. Meaning she's going to let everybody tap it. She's a thirsty traveler, you see? So that's that's what that fighter of Alex Pereira, that's the type of woman he was dealing with, right? Obviously. And she's showing her foolishness and she's shame um, uh, she's a shameless she she don't have no shame, right? She advertised her wickedness. All right? And that's the times we're in, man. Remember I read it. The curses, we're under the curses. The women, your the our women are are prophesied to be against us when you know this stuff you know it's uh it's it's easy to uh it's easier to accept right that's why i say the truth shall make you free let's get uh let's have a few more in here that i can right here ecclesiastes 26 and 22 an harlot shall be accounted as spittle but a married woman is a tower against death to her husband. Right. So a harlot, this woman, like the woman that uh, the UFC fighter dealing with, she's, the, the Lord looks at her like spit. Like if I just spit on the ground and, you know, that's how Yahweh looks at that, that bitch. Right. Because she a harlot. She's over here opening her quiver to everybody, even though she's got, um, you know, a little bit of fame, a little bit of money because she was dealing with a celebrity. You know, a, a so-called noble of the of the society, right? It says, verse twenty-three: A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that feareth Yahweh, right? So, if you have a woman that serve you, and she's sort of happy to serve you, Yahweh gave you that woman, all right? Verse twenty-four: A dishonest woman contemneth shame, but an honest woman will reverence her husband. Right, so that woman, she's she's bringing shame on her and him. Instead of just shutting her effing mouth, right? Stop typing on the computer. Don't put all your dirty laundry out there to dry, right? Let's read 25. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, but she that is shamefaced will fear Yahweh. Right. So that's what she is. That that bitch is shameless, right? If she don't have no shame, if she had shame, if she had uh, virtue, or if she was a proper woman, or if she was an in order, she wouldn't have been putting all that, all that uh, on the social media. I don't care if she responded or not. She didn't have to respond. Be a woman. Be in your place, right? You're adorned when you're able to, you know, control yourself as a woman, all right? Or when you're serving your husband righteously. You actually adorn yourself in the eyes of Yahweh. I'm telling you, y'all women can learn the hard way, man. Yahweh is gonna is gonna humble you, women. All right. It says, uh, let's see. Well, I'm gonna, let me see. I think there's some in the end of. Yeah, let's get here. <clears throat> And you know what? Let me read this one. Okay, you know what? I'm glad I went back because I'm going to read these two real quick. Okay, I'm going to read 17. Ecclesiastes 25 and 17 it says, oh, I'm a, never mind, 16. It says, I'd rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. All right? So you got to think about that. Lions are ferocious. A dragon, I mean, come on. That, that would be a terrifying thing to, to be around a dragon, right? But yet, Yahweh says in Ecclesiasticus, Hey, I'd rather dwell in, with a dragon or a lion than a wicked woman. Verse 17, The wickedness of a woman 
changes her fate. And let me, if I can make a point real quick, they actually have a cartoon called How to Train a Dragon, right? So it shows you that you can tame and train a dragon, but a woman, you can't train a woman. You can't, you can't tame a woman, right? Especially a wicked woman, right? Verse 17, the wickedness of a woman changes her face and darkeneth her countenance like sackcloth, right? When a woman's, when these wicked women get mad, you can see it in there. They, they got that fucking, uh, that dirt, them giving them mad, mean mugs, dirty looks, you know, especially Jake women. Jake women will show you their countenance is wicked as hell, mean bitches, right? They'll brag about that stuff. Brag about being mean. Brag about being shameless, you know? That's how Jake women are, man, when they're wicked. Um, let's see. Her husband shall sit among his neighbors when he heareth it, shall sigh bitterly. Right, you know, stressing the brother out, man. You go to talk to his friends, and all he can do is talk about his woman. You got to make excuse to get away from his ass, you know, because you don't want to listen to that shit. Verse 19. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. So the Most High says that all the wickedness, this world is wicked as hell. But you can put all the fucking wickedness together in this wicked ass society, wicked ass world. And then none of it is as wicked as the woman says. And this is the Bible we're reading, okay? We're reading the Bible. This is a Bible verse, right? This is not, you know, this is truth, what we're reading here. Um, it says, as the, verse 20, as the climbing up a sandy way is to the feet of the age, so is a wife full of words to a quiet man. And if you know the characteristic of that fighter, that dude, um, Alex Pereira, that he's known to be a quiet, stoic, um, serious, austere character. That's his character. That's why a lot of people don't talk shit about him because not only is he a badass, but he, he's literally like a, he, he's stoic. He's, he's, he's fucking austere, dude. They even joke that he never breaks face. He, break, he never smiles, right? So... He's a quiet man, I bet, for the most part. And this, but the Lord's comparing it to like an old man trying to walk up. And I'm talking about, let's say, you see a 90 year old trying to walk up a sandy hill. He, he ain't going nowhere anytime soon, you see. So, but that's where he compares a wife full of words. And that bitch, she's already out of his life. And all he was saying that he wants, you know, he doesn't consider her part of his life no more. But when she come back and say she was full of words. She had to respond and make herself, uh, you know, sound uh, like she was some type of, uh, you know, doing just fine. And she didn't need him. And she was the one who broke up and all this stupid shit, right? I'm telling you, man, these women are about to be humbled. Verse 21, this is where the brother probably, the brother, the fighter, he, he, he went off right here. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. You see? So he stumbled at her beauty. He was too busy thinking about that box. And, you know, we all go through as men and women, we go through these relationships to learn things. But you don't want to stumble at a woman's beauty, man. Because sometimes these pretty these pretty women, they, they're the most wicked women. All right? Um, let's read 24 and I'll close on that. Of the woman came... The beginning of sin, and through her we all die, right? And I read that in Genesis 3, you know, that serpent teaching our women to be wicked, teaching our women to be enemies to their husbands, especially the Jake husband, right? Because you got these Edomite wives, and Edomite, I mean, they half the time they don't give a shit about each other, there, but they just go about, but they got their careers established. They're, they're different. These curses, yes, they do hit the, the heathen, but guess what? The Lord set it up to where they're hitting our people, right? And even if you're a, a celebrity, you're going to deal with those curses, all right? So I think the point's been made. Um, oh, yeah. let me Actually, let me grab 26. Well, I'll go 25. Give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to gad abroad. Remember, gad abroad means a social butterfly. You're not supposed, that's not healthy. If you have a wife and she's a social butterfly, she's involved in all kind of different extracurricular activities, especially where there are other men involved. 
it's never a good setting for these women because why they're the weaker vessel they're opportunists especially in this day like i said a woman shall come past a man so you're just setting yourself up for failure if you're you have a wife and you're letting her you know be a gad abroad i mean a social you know socially uh, occupied if you will right verse 26 if she would go not as thou wouldest have her cut her off from thy flesh and give her a bill of divorce and let her go right so if she's not going to listen to you if she doesn't want to get down and she's not in order she just want to follow you you're we're men we're supposed to lead our women if your woman don't want to follow you guess what the, the, the lord it's better to just give her a bill of divorce yeah she's going to be uh committing adultery every time you know while you're alive every time she gets with another man but even in that case let her go man you don't you don't want you don't want that hoe all she's gonna do is bring you uh you know bring you a uh, pain let me grab this one that just came to mind <clears throat> she's not gonna make you feel good man let's go to proverbs and, and, and you know many men have lost their mind on behalf of women the bible says let's grab proverbs 12 and 4 it says a virtuous woman is a crown to her husband but she that maketh ashamed is as rottenness rottenness in his bones meaning your 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 bones are deteriorating just because you're with that wicked ass woman that's what it's comparing to like that uh, if you have weak bones then you're feeble you'll be broken down in a moment right that's what a wicked, wicked woman is going to have have a man you know, if you have a woman that's that wicked, you're better off just letting the bitch go, man. I don't care how fine she is. I don't care how big her ass is, how firm her titties look, you know. You got to you gotta be able to, to let that go because, uh, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> that's one of those things you got to let go sometimes. Psalm 34.10, I'll close on that. Sometimes you got to let these bitches go. And that's the best thing that that dude could could do. That UFC fighter. Psalm 34 and 10, it says, The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek Yahweh shall not want any good thing. Right, including your badass woman. You're including that bad bitch that you thought you couldn't live without. Right? You gotta let that fucking scorpion go. Let that out of your hand. Let that dragon. Don't don't dwell with that dragon. You know, and she's actually worse than the dragon, like the scriptures say. All right. So you know, I hope the lesson was edifying. I want to give all the praise, all the glory, all the honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kodash. Double honors goes out to the other apostles of Great Millstone. Um, acknowledging all the brothers doing the work, shallow unto the elect.